Hey, hey, Tyler, Mr. Trees. Uh, today we're talking fertilizers. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick and easy way on how to understand what your fertilizer is doing, what it's supposed to do, uh, and how to, you know, kind of sort through the madness on the shelf. So let's get into it. Uh, first of all, I'm not sponsored by any of the companies or any of the brands or anything that I'm gonna show here. Um, it's just stuff that I had lying around that would serve as a good example. So here we go without further ado. Uh, fertilizers. Most all fertilizers will have three numbers. Uh, it'll sometimes be on the front, which is really nice. Sometimes it'll be on the back, which is, is okay. Um, usually you'll find it right there, uh, pretty prominent on any bag of fertilizer. It's a main feature. Uh, basically that is your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, or NPK. Don't need to know any of that. It's not super important. Uh, you're just trying to get something for your for your roses and get on with your day. So, crude way to understand what these numbers are doing, uh, what you should buy uh, in any given situation. First number, green and growth. Second number, fruits and roots. Third number, cell development, general health. Um, so definitely a crude way of looking at what they do. But if you look at any label for any type of marketing example, uh, say lawn fertilizer will always be a high nitrogen or higher first number on the bag. And it's 21001868, whatever. There's, there's a billion different ratios. But the point is the first number will always be higher because all they care about for a lawn is green and growth. So that's, that's your first number, green and growth. Um, if you're growing roses or vegetables or things that flower and fruit, and you're in that stage something with a higher middle number it would be your suitable fertilizer and if you look on the shelf uh, rose fertilizers bloom fertilizers vegetable fertilizers you'll see that middle number will be higher than all the rest um, it's a uh, it's just kind of a mathematical quick and easy way to look at it hey boom green and growth fruits and roots general health and whatever your application Whatever you're looking for, organic, non-organic, you'll at least know what that fertilizer is going to push your plant and your soil to do. Um, so when you're dealing with organics, you have a second feature, which is really cool. Um, you'll have your regular old NPK, and then you flip it over, and next to your NPK and your ingredients, which is pretty cool, it's alfalfa, fish bone meal, potassium sulfate, and kelp. You know, I can pronounce everything. I like stuff like that. Um, but also right next door, it will have a category for all these living organisms. These are just added like mycorrhiza, uh, bacteria, fungi, all kinds of good stuff that's going to inoculate your land, your soil, uh, kind of kickstart everything uh, in the soil food web, get your plant cycling and eating, and the food that they're in, the alfalfa and the stuff, is also a food source for them. So while they're in there, they can, you know, they can break it down they're used to breaking that down that's a that's a good good food source for them so um, when you're dealing with the organic stuff it's really nice because some of them will have that added benefit of, of some living microbes um, for inoculation so this grow power is cool so it's a humic acid type based fertilizer uh, it's made from compost but there's like there's a lot of science involved with this one so it's not 100 percent organic but it does have some good properties that i like but all in all I don't like pellets. I don't like funny colors. I don't like a lot of gibberish on the back that I can't pronounce. Um, I like to do as many wholesome type ingredients as possible. And uh, I find that being a like dirt like consistency or, you know, uh, some sort of a non hard processed, you know, consistency that it breaks down and is well used by the plants. So uh, if you stick with that, can't you know you can't go wrong in most cases it's just kind of what your preference is what your style is and what your budget is so i hope that helps i'm tyler mr trees and again it's green and growth fruits and roots general health do it crude baby have a good day i appreciate everybody for uh watching uh, subscribe tell your friends uh let's let's make a thing out of this have a good day